guys welcome back to my channel and to all my new subscribers welcome 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 and i just want to shout out to you guys because i made it over to over 800 subscribers now look y'all went from 50 to now 800 we almost at a thousand just keep running the numbers up and remember when i reach a thousand it will be a big giveaway i actually have some more items coming in that will be part of the giveaway the box is already getting kind of thick so i'm gonna have to move it to a bigger box because it's other products that i do want to add into that but we'll talk about that on a later time today we're going to discuss mccart okay let's just discuss mccart all right so, um, I put on the screen somewhere how much I paid. I did use a discount code from another YouTuber. I'm put her information on the screen. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to do some unboxing here so we guys can see how it look. But before we get started, don't forget to get it. Don't forget to get this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Turn the notification bells on so you guys can know every time I post a video. And if you're feeling generous, go ahead and leave a comment down below and we can chit chat, talk about it, whatever. I'm going to give you guys my honest uh, opinion. This is not sponsored or anything of that nature. I am literally literally i pay paid money for this this is my own opinion on it if i like it or not whatever the case may be but we're going to test it out today because here we go hey guys we're going to start with the big boy now i'm gonna try to figure out how to i think you just slide do you slide or do you just i think you slide maybe not how you open this hold on y'all Oh, you do slide. <laughs> oh, she a little hard. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so I like the front of it. XO McCord. Hey, y'all. <laughs> and then you just... Oh, she a little taped up. She a little tape. She got a little tape right here, y'all. I probably need to zoom y'all out, out a little bit more. I'm sorry you got so close. But I'm just trying to... Because I got it turned a certain way. But yeah, so I'm just going to flip her over here. Okay, so come with this little soft thing. Oh, she pretty. You guys know I'm going to have to dazzle, dazzle her down like I did this one. Okay, so come with this little Macar Files Pro user, user manual. So just let you know, you know, the instructions. Who read instructions? Not me. <laughs> I should. Don't do as I say, not as I do. Read instructions, y'all. But I'm I'm not. So it comes with, let me just take her out the box. Maybe put you in the box. Oh, uh, she's so like the size difference, y'all. Hold on. She's a little bit bigger. So it's a big size difference. Like it really is. It's a major size difference. She is wider and this is how far my hands so from here. They about the same to me, like the distance with hands. Like some people like, oh, they good for longer nails. They're the same distance, y'all, like literally. Actually, she feel a little deep. No, let me see. Like I'm literally touching the back of it. It's no same difference. Now I would say she's wider, but lengthwise, it's the same. Wide, she's wide. So, like, I can expand my hand like this, and it doesn't touch the side of the walls. But on this one, I expand my hand like that. It touched the side of it, so I got to keep my hands closed. But I'd rather have something that's a little bit longer, in my personal opinion, um, because you guys know my nails are long. So, that's the reason why I want something longer. But, okay, so she come with a 10, 30, 60 second, 90, and it got a low heat mode right here. Which is good, I guess, for people that, you know, the UV light and stuff like that. And the light is tape or whatever. So, yeah. And this is, oh, it's tape everywhere. Oh, they made they made sure nothing was coming out. They said, you ain't coming out today. Hold on, I'm trying to get my little, little bitty tiny scissors. Let me just cut the little tape real. Wait, why are you on? Hold on. No, this supposed to be all right. I'm trying to make sure I cut this tape off. Okay. Okay, so it does come with the removable plate. That may not be the technical word for it, but it's going to be a plate today. Because it looks like a plate. Okay, you guys. So the light already turned on and the light is on the back just like the other lamp. They look very similar, but they just different. It's the same. Like the shape of it is different. 
um it's a different color and it only comes in pink um i wish it did come in other colors maybe we had like other color options besides pink that would have been nice like maybe purple white pink you know green i don't know just other color options because what if everybody just don't want pink but i do like the pink y'all know my theme and everything pink so it didn't bother me but it was just a like hey a suggestion so i'm take out trying to take all this tape off so yeah so again the light come on here is fully charged and again i would say for long nail people it's not it's not for long nails i like I'm going to have to adjust my hand a certain way because or like put just the tip of my hand in, which of course you don't want to put your hand whole in, in. So I guess it don't really matter. But for people that do do that, like to make sure it's all the way curved, then it's not your hand going to hit the thing. So just put it halfway in. You don't want your whole hand in there anyway. So now this is how it looks on the inside. I'm dropping everything, y'all. So it got the lights all over here um i'm just comparing and contrasting y'all literally the, the same thing just smaller okay now i am going to use this of course i bought it <laughs> it's like 200 some dollars for both of them together which is i feel like what this is reasonable reasonable because when i was looking at the kiara sky the most was like dang they was 500 dollars for like the package you know i was gonna buy it but i was like let me see let me just stick with what i know and i love my car you know so let me try my car since i'm a big fan of my car i'm gonna get my car so yeah that is the light and then of course you know it come with the, the cable cords yeah I, I really think that's self-explanatory let's see how long this is i wish it, i hope it's long let's see how long it is y'all basic lint basic lint it's not that long just saying it's white so cool whatever self-explanatory <sighs> hey y'all now i really technically didn't need a new one but i'm like why not you know why not why not why not <sighs> all right so let's unwrap this baby now I love now you know what would have been nice, y'all, if they would have like this looks like this have some holographic chrome. If this was holographic chrome, holographic chrome, that would just been a, a deal. So everything is slide out in. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it got an arrow right here, so I'm assuming you're supposed to like have it like this. It say XOXO XO McCart. Love you. Hi, what's this? Hugs and kisses to you too so you pull this little red piece up and it lift up like this okay this is my warranty card which i will be filling out because <laughs> get warranties y'all everything that's electronic that's all i'm gonna say so let's unbox because i know we waiting on this one i'm, I'm waiting on it let's see how this look in person because on the picture it looks like it's a holographic chrome which it is <gasps> she is pretty y'all she is gorgeous now i feel like the camera ain't giving her justice okay let's take i kind of want to keep that on i don't usually take it off but i'll take it off for the sake of the video so you guys can see so she about uh three batteries she charged which is fine so i don't know it goes all the way it's making me stop for some reason one two it keep doing that. I don't know. Maybe because I ain't got nothing plugged in. We'll test it out to see. Because it better it bet not be no glitch. Or we're going to have a problem, McCart. We're going to have a problem. I don't know why you... Oh, this like a... What's this? I guess this is why they say read directions. Because you could push this for whatever reason. So, the forward and reverse is a button up top here. But I don't know what that's for. Huh. I'm going to find out, though. If I if it's a as if it's a thick man, you I'm not finna be reading for three years. I'm not finna do it. Okay. Okay. So it come with a let me take you out and move you to the side. Look, I'm dropping it already. Mm -hmm. Let me just move y'all. Okay. So it looks like this is like the little clamp part. Let me take her out. So it's a clear clamp, which I really like. I like that. It's clear, like 
like a clear it's just aesthetically pleasing to the eye so just go on the side either it just depends on which way so if i'm clipping mine to my hip i have it on this way or you can you have both options whichever one is whichever side you have your thing on so i guess that's just what it is and then of course they come with the charger part this would be cute if it was pink i should bedazzle it I'm gonna bedazzle it. No, I don't need to bedazzle everything. That's my problem. I wanna put rhinestones on everything. So this looks like this is a stand. And I'm assuming this is a stand. Is this a stand for you? Oh, it's a stand for okay. So I guess when you're not, you know, having it on your hip and it got it's a stand. Is this a stand for this? Or go, I don't think that's a stand. Y'all think that's for the uh the thing. <laughs> I, oh, this is the charging piece. So this is the charging thing. And it's a McCart Pro on the front. And this is the little charger part in the back. She tiny. She small. She ain't thick like me. <laughs> Period. But yeah, so this is the charging part. I don't like that it's like... I wish it had something that's like kind of secure where it just stays still. Because it kind of like... It's wobbly. I don't like that. But it's okay. It's alright. You know? It's okay. Not a big deal. And then it does come with some bits and um, sanding bits. I like this container. So, of course, it comes with, you know, this one. The cuticle ones. Pretty much all the cuticle ones. And it looks like it comes with an 80 by 80. It looks like two, two, four, six. So, different ones look at 80 by 80. Like, maybe a 120. And this looks like a... No, this is like a 120. This is like a 100, and it's, this is 80. I know an 80 by 80 when I see one because I got all of them. But yeah, it's different ones, so you got that. Shout out to y'all. I like the little container. This would be a cute little travel one. All right, let's unbox this. Try not to stay too long on this video because we still got to do a nail look, y'all, using the McCart stuff. Too many boxes. <laughs> That's how I feel like it should have sound. She she a little she not heavy, but she got some weight to her. I would say she not heavy, but she she got some weight. Like for sure, for sure, she got some weight on her. Oh, they they, they took their time with that. Oh, look at that McCart Pro. Oh, that is she is pretty. She is pretty. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to put this in the holes, y'all. Okay, so it is a specific, well, duh, it tells you. I'm slow, y'all. So I'm just going to put one of these in here. So, of course, you turn to unlock, turn to relock, um, to unlock, to lock. So it comes with a little piece that automatically come in there. So you just take that out. Put one in. And then let's see, because y'all know I was doing it earlier. Okay. She is quiet. Okay. She's silent. I like her. I like you. We're going to be friends. Yeah, she is silent. I like that. Okay, I'm going to put you back in there so you can just whatever. And, of course, you know, you can put it in your little thing. Have this in here. And boom. She pretty. The clear is just... The clear was a... a, a a good piece you know usually people use no most of the time they have they don't usually come with like a a case like that usually it's just automatically clip on the back like how mine's is uh, my old one so like uh melody Susie's come with a clear clip but the clip is automatically on the thing which i like both ways it doesn't really bother me because it's like it's less weight off your hold on 
on. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I just peeped something. This one's got hold of things in her. I just peeped this. I know you lying. I know you lying. I want to use you. I'm trying to use some other ones that I just automatically have already. Oh. McCart really thought this through. They said, okay, if we're going to do this, you know, we're going to do it the, we're going to do it the right. I want to, can I set this in here with my ch <gasps> Y'all, that's why it was wobbling. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like how it wobbling. Oh, so it goes like this. Y'all, don't don't listen to me half of the time. Like, sometimes I don't know how my brain be functioning. It just be functioning, okay? Okay, so, yeah, okay, that's why it was wild. Remember, I was like, it needs a balance or something. This, this, this is how it's supposed to be. Like, I just wasn't following up. I like that. And then if I need it, like, automatically, I could just take it out. Ooh! Or I could just take the whole thing out. Like, keep this plug in and just plug it. McCord. Why are you playing? And then why are you in the middle of doing it? You got your little stand. Okay, this was a stand for that. But it straight balanced that though. You know? But yeah, so that's the stand for that. So if you ain't got your little clip, you can have it on the side or whatever you want to do. Like this. Or if you just don't want to take her out or whatever, you just have her on. stuff like okay but what is this oh it pause it at six oh so pause it and then play it i don't know what's the point of that so it stops it you know what i see the, the point of it is like you know how people got to constantly turn it off turn it on turn it off turn it on like you kind of got to turn it off to stop the drip my car they really thought this through. What? I am shocked. Like, McCart really thought this through. Like, I ain't got to keep twisting it. <laughs> hey. Ooh, pause. Pause at nine. Let me, let me set you right here real quick. Let me finish fouling. Let me pick you back up and just click a button and you resume back. I ain't got to turn you all the way, y'all. And then go back and find the number I was at. Let's go back all the way up to 16 or whatever, 12. I'm going to pause it at 12 and then resume. McCart, y'all can have all my money at this point because y'all did that. So it's a ten out of eleven. I'm sorry. It's a it's a it's a ten. It's a ten out of ten with this this nail drill. I like it. Like it's a it's the small details that they added on. That I don't think a lot of people think of because this is very convenient. Like it is very convenient. This is very convenient. Like the whole setup is convenient. Like it's it's not even that big. Like you don't have to have this on here. Like by you can have it set on the side or whatever. But it don't take up that much room on your desk, and I like that. Now, with the light, I would give it a, I would say an 8 out of 10. I'm going to have to, you know, literally cure my nails to see how it does when it cures. Like, how long do I have to constantly double dip in our... We're going to test out anyway throughout the video. But right now, based off of the look, it's just... I feel like they could have chromed this out. You know what I'm saying? Just chrome it out. Like the, I feel like they should have been a matching set. Like they should have matched together. That would have been the icing on the cake for me. And I like how wide it is, but I don't like the length of it. It's too, sh it's too short. And it, it's, it's bigger. Like she's bulky. Like she's bulky. But it's like, it is what it is. But it's not, not a problem with her or anything like that. I just give it an 8 out of 10. We're just going to... Let's say it get a couple of points based off a of higher curl. We, don't talk about me in the comments. I'm strong on the odds from where I'm from. This is how we talk. Don't come for me. We're going to see how she curl in, when I finish doing my nail sets and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to leave it on and stuff. But let's get started on the nail look. 
all right so stay tuned okay you guys so this is all the things that we're going to be using in today's videos i'm attach a screenshot in the uh, shout out her page her, her page will be linked in the description down below <clears throat> i gotta try this nail out y'all um it, it just gave what it was supposed to give, period. But I, you know me, I do mine just a little bit different, add a little extra. But I really like this and I really want to try it. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so I got four nails out because I did the thumb off camera because I want to see if like, you know, you got to test yourself out, period. So I'm going to start with this color that I just off of Tam, Timu. Um, it's the VG Vage Sister Collection, and this is the number K1. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. K10. I don't know what my voice trying to flick out on me. I ain't got time for it. But it's a cute little jelly nude. So I'm gonna use two coats of that. So I'm just gonna paint this over here, y'all. And of course, we're gonna test out the nail lamp because I want to see how many times I gotta cure this. Is it like one thing, two things? Like what I gotta do? But yeah, we're gonna do some press-ons because it's like quick and easy. And I feel like with this design, I have a little bit more control on how it looks, I guess. I don't know. If you guys wanna see me do it on a poly gel set, as you've seen, the thumbnail, are you son of a gun? I try not to curse y'all because <laughs> it almost came out. <laughs> Oops, she is a little sneaky little thing. But yeah. So I'm just going to paint her real quick. It's no specific way of how I paint. I guess I just kind of flop the color on her, take the extra off if I need to. This really depends. But yeah, she is a jelly nude, like a jelly nude color. Now, you're more than welcome to keep her like this. You don't have to. Like, I did two coats. So you could do, I think, up to three coats of this to make it make the color more pigment. That's how jelly nudes you work. Like you can either keep it like a jelly color, like one coat, two coat, make it come out a little bit more, but you still see the jelly, or three coats where it's just the color pretty much close to it. Y'all see what I'm talking about. Period. But yeah, so I'm just gonna paint these. I'm gonna do the other nail off camera. You know what? No, I'm gonna do everything off camera since you guys said y'all want to see everything, everything from the, from the bone to the to to what I do. I guess y'all want to see everything. But yeah, so let me paint these really quick again. It's no specific way on how I do that. I just paint the nails. And somebody comment on my video was like, "Stop rubbing the polish off with your fingers. You prone to infections." That may be true. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a nail tech. You know, but. I've been doing nails like this for so long. It haven't bothered me. Never got affection in my nails. Clean out, clean off your hands. Like when I get done, I wash my hands. Like I have to wash my hands too much dust. I have to clean up. I'm working with alcohol all the time. So that's probably why I never got an affection. Um, I don't know. But for her that comment on that, you know, I you know, appreciate the advice, but it never bothered me. I guess I could try to start using gloves, but it doesn't bother me. I only do my nails. I don't do anybody else's nails. But I guess for people that do do other people's nails, I mean, I, when I see other people do other people's nails, they do curry it. I mean, they do have gloves on. So I never seen it make more sense for them to have gloves on when they constantly have customers back to back like that. They got to constantly wipe. They don't, I guess, I don't know. I'm not a nail. I'm not a nail professional. I'm just a nail influencer. That's it. Like, I do my own nails. That's just how I do it. It's my habit. Um, but I don't know. Comment down below about that. It, have people got infections about it? Maybe her personal experience. I don't know. Maybe she maybe she is a nail professional. And that's something that is taught. I can try to get in the habit of it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just used to doing things my way. But yeah, anyways, I am using the McCart Pro um, nail lamp. I did put this on 60 seconds. And then I'm going to see how this cure. Let me see if I just need to cure it one time. Or do I need to go in with a double one? Let's see. So she done with 60 seconds. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. I only have to do it one time, y'all. Oh, I like these. So, yeah, I'm going to go in with a second coat. And as you guys see, it does come pigment. So, I bring that. Y'all see the difference between the colors. Yeah. So, yeah, you can keep it jelly nude if you want. It's all about preference. But 
I'd rather have it just a little bit darker. But I do still like the consistency or how it looks. Let me see how it looks. As a um jelly. I love jelly polishes, y'all. I, I came to love them because it just bring out a natural effect on the nail. Like it just looked more natural to me. I don't know. This is my opinion. Some people don't like jelly news. And I'm like, why? I think it's so pretty. Ooh. Now, when I do press-on nails, I don't buff them out like most people do. I don't know. I just kind of like, I don't know. It's like a specific, for all, if, if it's a nail tech, like a professional nail tech, they'll watch my videos. Shout out to you, but uh, if you guys, why do you guys, if you guys do press on nails, I'm not for sure. Are people that just do press on nails in general, like that's just their lifestyle, their hobby, their career, you know. Why do you guys buff the the nail? Is it so the polish, is it so the polish won't separate? I don't, I don't know. Tell me something, because I don't know what, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I don't do it. While that's curing in the nail lamp for 60 seconds, I'm going to go in with these two colors by Beetle. Now, you can get any type of blue color and mix the color between black and white as her her quick video tutorial showed. I It was so quick to me. So, I was like, okay, I caught on to like the gist of it. So, I'm like, okay. But for a more in-depth, I was like, let me do a video. And plus, I wanted to try it out. Like, I was like, and I'm going to tag her like, girl, I did it. I did it. But I'm going to use the one that's in A... 181 colors like this dark blue color i just need a lot of that i'm gonna use a lot of this pretty much and then i need this one a lot of it Now, with this one, I add a little bit of black. Now, use any black gel polish I'm going to use. Of course, I'm using the one that I got off of Timu because I want to start using the products that I got. I got so much, I'm like start using it throughout my videos, like I said. Um, so, I'm just going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to wait till they dip into here. Not a lot because I kind of want to get that dark blue jean effect. Um, okay. Just a little bit, just a dot. And then you can, you know, I'd rather for you to add less than add. Because you can always add. If you need more, like you put too much, then you kind of got to start over. And with this one, I'm just using this white here. Just a little bit, not a lot. Okay, I ain't got time to wait on you to drill. So I'm going to take a little dotting tool here. And I'm just going to mix this up really good i just want to kind of get that light blue jean effect now if you want that darker lighter add more white but this is just how i like it make sure these dots are out of it so i'm gonna wipe that on my napkin then i'm gonna take this one with the black and mix that really good and it may look black on camera, hopefully not. So I'm just making sure I mix that really, really well. So give that blue jean effect. Okay, it's, I'm sorry, you guys. Something cut off in the middle of me recording. But yeah, I, I'm starting on my French tips. So yeah, this is just how I do it. Okay, so that's my outline that I like right here. Now I'm just going to take some of that and start filling in just the size of it.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with another brush here. And I'm gonna go into that blue and I'm just going to start brushing it into the color. Now you guys gonna see me kind of go back and forth a lot between this blue color and that navy blue. All right, you guys. So with this nail, I'm doing it just a little bit differently. I'm trying to figure out how I want it. Do I want to go on that way? I think I want to go on this way. Okay. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go back in with that white gel polish and take a little thing like this. And I'm just gonna, I to pick up a nail, I gotta hold it. I'm just gonna pat that in certain spots, not too much. Just like that. Again, you can be free on how you want that to look. There's no specific way. that in the nail lamp for 60 seconds so that's how they look in now from here i'm gonna go in with a different white i'm gonna use the white mccart by um the white polish by mccart i'm not pronouncing their name no i'm finna play with y'all in the comments so this is what i'm using yeah mm-hmm and i'm going to use this brush that i got off of timu it's the detail brush four millimeters or whatever so i'm just taking some of that white it's a little bitty tiny one and i'm just going to start drawing lines on the side of it because it's supposed to look like stitches and the reason why i'm going with this white because it's white i love this white it's more pigment than most whites I'm just use it on the side of it.
So let's look like jeans. Do the same for the rest of them. Okay, so these are how the nails are looking. Now we're gonna go in with the matte coat, period. And y'all gonna see these nails come to life, honey. So I'm using the matte coat by um, Model Ones. So I'm just painting that all over the nail. Okay, so these are how the nails look after they're matte. So before I do anything, I'm gonna take me a little, little bit tiny nail file. So I can just shake these nails a little bit here. Just gonna hold it. Just wanna make sure. They're even. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how I did the thumb. And that's how the thumb is looking. So far. So let's design these nails up, period. Now I feel like I did this one. I don't like how that one's looking. It's okay, cause we finna cover it up. I'm not about to play with that. So I still have a little bit of this chain left. I was trying to debate if I was gonna do it on this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it on this one. So let me measure this out. Okay, so about right here. Just gonna take me a little clip here. So I can cut this. Like that. I'm gonna take my little rhinestone glue. Tweezers. That's how I do the chain here. I'm just following along the line. Here, 
and make sure I hurry up and clear that because I got a habit of moving. Now, now what I was thinking, I didn't know what I was going to do with these nails, y'all. I'm so confused. What should I do? Let me think of an idea and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I did that just to cover up that line a little bit. And I'm going to do the same with this one. So I did a different type of little chain. It's a rhinestone one. Um, you can get these from pretty much anywhere. So again, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other one. I may need another one, actually. Ugh. I'm trying to hold this with my finger. Even it out is not the easiest. need another one yeah this is time consuming <laughs> it is time consuming child <sighs> so for people that do like press on nails what is the price that you would charge with this I really want to know because <laughs> boy it's not like a hard nail design to do it's just all the embellishments and I guess decor if people may say that takes a little while wasn't the one to go on that one, I don't think. Okay, so I'm gonna create this for 60 seconds. Then I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm gonna do in the middle. Okay, so now that that's been cured, now what I'm gonna take some, oh, I just put it back. I didn't even mean to. Let me see, I just put it back. I don't know which one it was, but, oh well, I'm just using another one. Okay, so I'm gonna clip some of these off. I already got two clips. I don't know if I would need another one. So I'm just clip one of these and it just flipped somewhere and I don't know where it went. I guess be careful when clipping these. FYI. So then I'm going to go right here. Put some rhinestone glue. Take my little tweezers here. I'm going to start placing them. I don't know if I'm going to do a chain. I don't know. <sighs> now I'm stuck again. I think I'll do that a chain. I be stuck, y'all. Don't be know what I'm doing half of the time. Okay, 
Okay, let's try this again. Dang, y'all, don't be like me because I forgot to measure this. Okay, so I'm taking out my rhinestone. Um, I got a, already got a money symbol out. So I'm gonna put that one on this nail. even now with this one i kind of want to do like the little jean texture thing that she did i feel like i kind of need to separate these they all kind of stuck together i think i probably need to cut these just a little bit shorter for my other little scissors i feel like they a little too long in my personal opinion up a little bit now how I'm gonna line this up I don't know I feel like they look better on a uh, regular nail Maybe I should put it on this one then. Yeah, okay. Since I don't know what to do with these nails, so I'm gonna take a little bit of nail glue here. And then I'm just start picking up some pieces. As soon as I get off my dang on tweezers. Okay, they coming out just a tad bit cute or whatever. All right, I'm gonna cut that for 60 seconds, y'all, and then put these nails on, and we're gonna be right back so you guys can see the finished look. All right, you guys, so these are the finished um, jean nail look press on nails. And again, I just put some glue on so I can just put these on, pop these right off, okay? It wasn't nothing to it. Um, but tell me, you guys, how you what you think about this? I like them. Like, I feel like 90s babe outfit would be fire, but. Oh, everyday look? I don't know. You know, I'm a simple girl. Maybe. Maybe if I want to be extra. So, I'm going to have to do the other hand. It's set just in case I want to pop on some nails. So, people can stop when I'm walking. They'll be like, oh my God, can I see your nails? And I'm like, sure. But the only thing is, what I would do differently personally, since this is just a look. These little scriggly lines, I would not put on the nail because, again, they actually from jeans. And how I supposed to wash my hands, you know? Shower. So I will actually leave these off for like decor look. I wanted to like add like the jean little texture look. But yeah, I would keep these this off, the nails. But other than that, this was a very cute, creative idea. And I applaud the nail influencer, nail tech, professional nail tech. I'm not for sure her title. Um, but 
I applaud her for creativity. Like she's very creative to come up with this look and it, it just it just gave, baby. She did that. And I just had to, cause she did hers in duct tip as you guys seen in the picture. I'ma do mine in square for my square nails, baddies, or whatever the case may be. I did mine just a tad bit different than hers um, at the money signs and stuff like that. But other than that, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bells on so you guys can know every time I post a new video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.